how the Northrop's new F-23A Black Widow 2 may look like. The YF-23 has become one of the most enigmatic and misunderstood flying machines of the jet fighter age. Today, many are quick to proclaim that it deserved to win against Lockheed's YF-22. That is certainly debatable. But one of the questions asked the most is what would an F-23A have looked like? The F-22A changed significantly in form from its YF-22 technology demonstrator. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. With that in mind set out to leverage an array of sources, including the actual blueprints for the proposed pre-production F-23A, able to bring the superfighter that could have been to life nearly three decades after it was passed over by the USAF. In this very special installment in ongoing YF-23 series, to show the world exactly what the F-23A would have, or at least could have been look like. Once again, this is not fan art from the imagination of the Warzone team worked with our favorite aerospace artist, Adam Birch of Hangar B Productions, this is a realization of the real thing as it was going to be. Only the smallest details where specific information wasn't available were filled in with care. You will notice that the F-23A Black Widow 2 would have been longer and more smoothly molded than the prototype technology demonstrator that came before it. The YF-23's big trapezoidal nasals would become more blended into the F-23's fuselage and its engines would be spaced closer together at slightly towed in angles. Without the requirements for thrust reversers, which was baked into the YF-23 design but the hardware was never fitted, a more efficient low observable flap nozzle could be installed and the flat exhaust troughs would get updated heat resistant coverings. The F-23S nose would be redefined to accommodate powerful active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar and its intakes would be drastically changed. Gone was the innovative but high-risk gauzing panels that worked to separate turbulent boundary layer air from entering serpentine intakes. In their place was a diverter less supersonic intake-like configuration similar to what is seen today on the F-35 and J-20, among other aircraft. The intake leading edges would be serrated as well, giving them a menacing look and enhanced low observable properties. The F-23S boat tail would also be simplified, with a simpler overall W shape. The F-23S weapons capacity was expanded and offered more relevant weapons storage than the single bay found on the YF-23. The bays were arranged to carry a pair of AIM-9 sidewinders in the front bay and four to five AIM-120s in the rear bay. Air-to-ground munitions could also be carried, including much larger weapons than what the F-22 is capable of carrying today due to the greater depth of the F-23A rear weapons bay. The refueling port would be moved over from the aircraft's center line to its leftover wing shoulder position, offering pilots a similar tanking picture as the F-15 Eagle. The landing gear would also be strengthened and the ventral barrel section would feature a less acute and more blended mold line. Beyond being more refined, the F-23 is a narrower and somewhat elongated design iteration of the YF-23, which would have likely helped improved its already blistering kinematic performance and excellent radar cross-section metrics. Here are some thoughts from Adam Birch on his experience raising the F-23A from the dead. The F-23A model was the result of long hours of research, supposition, dead ends, frustration, fits, starts, and restarts. Above all else, in bringing the Black Widow 2 gives aerospace history to life. I attempted to remain faithful to the reference material wherever possible before succumbing to creativity and shamelessly lifting design cues from production aircraft, such as the F-22A. As with all what-if projects, 
There are many questions regarding small details about the final design that may never be answered and that is just fine with this artist. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.